Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone who are watching this video. I am Muhammad Amirul Azri bin Zulkarnain and I'm from GIM 2466A. For sure, I am a record management student from UATM Segamat. So, today, the public speaking topics that I want to talk and share to all of you is a uh, Global of a cyber terrorist, which are happen yearly around the world. So, do you guys excited to hear that? Let's watch this video. For the introduction of a cyber terrorist, I want to ask you: Did you know about a cyber terrorist? No. Let me explain. A cyber terrorist is an individual or group who are use computer technology to create fear disruption or harm for ideological, political or religious reasons. Basically, they engage in activities such as hacking, spreading malware, or a launching cyber attack on critical infrastructure with the intention of causing a significant damage to a target. Usually, the victim of this hacking is self for government, organization and of course us, the society at large. So cyber terrorists exploit vulnerabilities in computer system to achieve their goals and aiming to instill fear or achieve a specific political or society objective through their action. So by their action they can get more money by hack the data or any information of a government organization and of course our society to get and to make their money for their own sake. Let me support my justification by the research that I have found. According to the Chandler R 2023 in his public opinion and cyber terrorism article, he stated that the US public ranks cyber terrorism as the single most critical threat facing the nation, especially for the around the world. He stated that the cyber terrorism is more dangerous than a Russian aggression, the spread of COVID-19 or the development of nuclear weapon by Iran. So when I found and read this article, the author and this study claims that the how dangerous cyber terrorism is toward nation and it is not just happen for the individual but somehow it can be attacked toward government of a, any nation for the next discussion i will talk about the impact of a cyber terrorist did you guys know that there are numerous impact of cyber terrorist if this issue are not prevent from the start so for the first impact of a Cyber terrorist is a financial loss. Financial institutions that are targeted by a cyber terrorist run the danger of suffering financial losses. And of course, cyber terrorists have the potential to disrupt global financial service capabilities, particularly payment system. Yep. This could decrease trust in the system living bank and companies and of course the consumer paralyzed and fear which are lead the consumer the client confused or terrified ultimately this could have a significant detrimental effect on economic activity and most of the organization who are get attacked by hackers usually will lose more of their financial especially when it have been hacked involve the money for example bank usually the company or government will get threatened by hackers with provide with an amount of huge of money within the time given and if they are not providing the money it is then there will be loss of a confidential data for the next impact of cyber terrorists is a reputational damage Successful cyber attacks reveal a business incompetence in securing important client information. 
which severely reduced trust among the clients. That organization will lose their clients and their partners in because they will not give the trust anymore of that organization because that organization uh, of data potential can get success hacked by some of group of hackers. And the third one is a data and privacy concern. So let me explain this more. So for data and privacy concern, there is a chance that some financial and personal information will be stolen, which could lead to fraud, identity theft, or other bad actions. Global concerns, including cybersecurity and privacy protection, call for a global response. Every nation's citizens face similar danger when it comes to a defending their right to privacy. For the fourth impact of a cyber terrorist is a psychological impact. Of course, when a society experiences a cyber security attack, it can cause a widespread disruption and of course, lead to a range of a negative consequences. For instance, people often face fear and uncertainty about the safety of their personal data, online activities and digital interactions. Because of this cyber terrorist, there are more cyber terrorist victims may experience trust concern with the social media, digital service and online interaction. Their apprehension and caution may increase, of course, when could affect their desire to participate in online activities and information sharing. This will lead our society to afraid and fear to share their information, especially in a social media. I will provide the example of a cyber terrorist case. I have found the case of a cyber terrorist and did you know what is this? Yep, this is the Colonial Pipeline base at the Houston, Texas, United States, America. This company provides a gasoline and jet fuel to the Southern United States. And of course, this pipeline plays a crucial role in the country which the energy for the supplying full of millions of people and business. Basically, this company has suffered a lot of a ransomware cyber attack that give a numerous negative impact towards their computerized managing the process of pipeline. And yep, during the attacks, there are over 100 grip in the corporate data which has been stolen in just two weeks. And it makes the colonial pipeline need to pay the requested ransom nearly 5 million within the several hours after the attack. According to the CNN.com, it was confirmed that group of hackers are dark side was behind the attack. In order to get rid of these cyber terrorist issues, I have placed a few steps to prevent from these cyber terrorist issues which is the first one is for the individuals. For the individuals, they must have to educate themselves first. Why? Because everyone should be aware of the dangers of a cyber terrorist and what it is. Particularly, what action they should take in the event of that a hacking organization poses threat to their computers. And of course, the individual must be more cautious. What is mean by be more cautious? They should have to be more cautious of uh, online scams and of course to avoid uh, clicking on the pop-up advertisement on their phone. They should also not blindly believe what the hackers who promise them a ton of a reward exchange for clicking on the provide link. This case happened for many many years and until now these issues are still not been solved yet for the second one is for organization the first step that they want to have to do is for the strengthen the security system yes the organization must have completely strengthened their security system for example the firewalls and instruction and detection and prevention system IDS IPS. 
to guarantee that the data, their data, of course, is always safe from attackers who constantly figure out how in danger to organization by stealing a significant amount of its data, which are happened to a colonial pipeline company. The second one, the organization must have to conduct the training staff. Yes, the training staff is more important because they can guide the staff to handle sensitive data, especially confidential data, in order to avoid some leak of the data towards hackers. And of course, by this training, they guide staff to know and aware of organization cyber security policies and procedure by doing a report of every contact with a third party in case there are suspect breaches. And lastly, for the government, what they have to do is the international partnership. Why? Because they are able to coordinate action against a cyber threat and share the threat's intelligence by collaborating with another foreign security agency, especially for the cyber security. Nations can create channels for exchanging their data regarding the cyber threats, attack methods, and the weakness of a cyber terrorist. They combine the understanding of cyber danger can be improved by cooperation between law, enforcement, intelligence, service, and the cyber security specialists. So everyone, let's us to stay alert and don't easily share your information to others in order to secure your information details as always. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum.